In this video, we will explore Travify's mobile apps. Now, Travify offers two different mobile apps, one for you and one for your clients. Both apps are available for iOS or Android. Now, Travify Pro is uniquely for you, and that's what you're seeing right here. You'll be able to go and download the Travify Pro app on your mobile device, and you can download it and then go ahead and just log in with your Travify credentials. And in there, you will then be able to view all of your clients' trips on the go. You can view your tasks in there, and you can also view a high-level trip analytics as well. Now, the other app that we have available is for your clients, and this is called Trip Plans. Now, this app that you're seeing right now, this is for your clients, and you can see that it has a generic name and a generic icon, and that was on purpose because we want your brand, your logo to be front and centered for your clients. So that's why it's called Trip Plans. And in the Trip Plans app, your clients will be able to view their trips on the go, and they'll also get notifications and they can chat with you on there as well. And if they have multiple trips with you, they can also view all of those trips in here as well. Now, how your clients access the mobile app is really simple. First, I'm going to go into my Travify account and you're going to want to go ahead and share that itinerary with your clients. Now, something really important to note here is that you do want to make sure this is set up as an itinerary and not as a proposal. A proposal will not give them access to an app. So make sure that it is set up as an itinerary. If you need to switch it, just go ahead and click on that trip and then under type, choose itinerary. Now, when you go in to edit this, you can send it directly to your client by clicking the send button in the top right hand corner. From here, you can get a link and send this to them on your own, or you can email it directly through Travify. Once they receive the trip, they'll be able to view it on the web, which will look like this, and then they'll have the option for the app. Now, when they're viewing this on the web, they will see the app button here and we will need them to open this on their mobile device. So since I'm on a computer, it's having me send this magic link to my email so that way I can pull it up on my mobile device and be sent directly to the app store to download the trip plans app. Now, if they are viewing that email or this trip first thing in their mobile device, they can choose the app option and it'll take them directly to download the Trip Plans app. Now, once they download the app, they'll get access to their trip and it'll look like this. So they'll be able to view all of the information, scroll through day by day. They can even access any documents you've attached as well, and they can see all of it directly in here. Now, one thing that's really nice is if they are going to be uh, disconnected from Wi-Fi or data throughout the trip, they can always toggle on the offline mode right here. And that's going to automatically download all of the information so that way they can still access it even with limited access to internet or using data. They also can chat with you in here as well. So if they can send you a message directly in here and they also will get live flight updates in here as well, as long as you have that turned on. And those can come through also as push notifications within the app as well. Now, how you can chat back and stay connected to your clients is a few different ways. The first one is with that Travify Pro app. You can utilize your mobile app to stay connected with them and also get updated when they do have any notifications or um, if they're trying to reach you. The other way is that if you go into the trip here, so just like where I was when you're editing, on the far right side, there's the option for discussion and you can turn that. Now in here is where you can view the entire discussion thread and you can also chat back in here. Now, if you ever want to disable trip notifications, you can disable that right in here. Or if you want to disable the chat as a whole, you can also do so by going into your trip settings and you can also choose messaging and disable it as well. The last place where you can also view the chat and chat with them is from your main trip dashboard when you first log in, you can click on that trip and then on the right hand side here in the trip sidebar, you can click chat, view the entire thread and chat with them right in here. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out more of our getting started videos.